Welcome back to Three Months of Modal Logics, the sequel to the 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to continue with Deontic Logic, looking at augmenting standard deontic logic. In this video, we're going to look at kind of an extra axiom that you can add to standard deontic logic to make it slightly different and to give it a little bit more functionality, possibly. So it's going to be known as the double obligation axiom. We're going to have it be defined as it's obligatory that if it's obligatory that P, then P or a corollary it's obligatory that it's obligatory that P implies it's obligatory that P. Note some similarities between this axiom and axiom 4 from S4, the Olympic modal logic. Here, for deontic logic, the double obligation axiom is taking two obligations and it's simplifying it down to one. So if you have a long string of obligations, you simplify it down to one, whereas axiom 4 in S4, an alethic modal logic takes a single necessity and it doubles it. It says necessary A implies that necessary, that necessary, that A. There's similarities here. And just like S4 and S5 become more and more contentious, the double obligation axiom is equally contentious. In other words, it's obligatory to make things that are obligatory true. So it's obligatory that if it's obligatory that P, that you make P true. This seems really intuitive, but it is going to be an addition to our standard deontic logic, just like S4 and S5 requires us to define multiple necessities or necessity and possibility on top of each other, it's going to force us to define what it means for something to be obligatory that's obligatory, which doesn't really have a clear meaning or semantics in our minds, or at least in my mind, it isn't as clear as what obligatory that's obligatory means. Basically, what we're saying is it ought to be the case that if it ought to be the case that you don't steal, then you don't steal which seems to make sense. It should be the case that if we are obligated to do X, that we do X. Also, pretty intuitive. When we go to the corollary, it gets a bit more confusing. If it's obligatory that it's obligatory that you don't lie, then it is obligatory that we don't lie. And it ought to be the case that it ought to be the case that X implies that it ought to be the case that X. Once again, the way I think of it is in terms of obligating that obligations are fulfilled or simplifying a string of obligations down to a single obligation. That's the double obligation axiom. If we add this axiom to SDL, we're going to call it SDL plus, or standard deontic logic plus, once again, taking McNamara's notation. Check out his fantastic and huge article in the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy for more information. Up next, we're going to be kind of shifting gears. We're going to be moving kind of from some of the syntax of deontic logic to some of the semantics and talking about the acceptance relation. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and a new video every single day for a 100 days talking about modal logics. Stay skeptical, everybody.